Everything from its tires to the top of the canopy to even the technology from which the pieces and components were built was invented there and then, not copied or borrowed from something previously done. Of equal significance to the creation of the aircraft itself is the fact that the entire accomplishment was conducted in just 22 months. Unprecedented then, unimaginable today. As the initial Blackbird went through final assembly at a remote test site, its existence was still only known to a few select people. The public recognition it would later receive as a national asset was still years off. Every time an SR-71 flies, it is an operation that involves many highly skilled people. Yet, the successful execution of a flight comes down to just two men. The reconnaissance systems officer who monitors the SR-71's vast array of advanced mission equipment, and the pilot who guides its course. They belong to an elite fraternity, open to only a select few. Following a refueling stop to top off its tanks, the SR-71's twin turbo ramjet engines will produce more power than 45 diesel locomotives as it ascends to the upper reaches of the stratosphere. Cruising at speeds in excess of 2,000 miles an hour at altitudes above 80,000 feet, an SR-71 can survey 100,000 square miles every 60 minutes. It's multiple sensors gathering in millions of bits of information with each pass. Yet, for all of the SR-71's power and command of the sky, it remains an instrument of peace. It sorts the difference between what others say and what they do. And because its missions are still highly classified, the SR also remains today, over 20 years after its birth, a complete enigma, a mystery. And what many believe is the finest aircraft ever built.